I want to tell you about a great product that we have for rapid prototyping. It's Protocast ADR. This is a piece that we've made out of it, molded. It's hard and durable. Protocast uh, ADR is uh, one of the unique things is it's uh, the liquids are, it's an AB, two part polyurethane. It's water thin, it doesn't need any degassing and it just almost can just barely stir in it to kind of get things going. And so today what we're going to do is we're going to demonstrate how we actually made this uh, coin setup. Like right, I so said, this is ADR. And the way we did this, we had made a master uh, mold out of silicone rubber. And into this mold, we're going to spray a common acrylic paint that can be bought at your local home improvement store. This material was sprayed in. And what we're going to demonstrate is the ability of uh, to pre-paint the mold and for the polymer to lift the paint out to give you a pre-painted part. So uh, we're going to do that. And so um, what we've done is we've pre-measured out the uh, Protocast ADR, component A, and component B equally. And we're going to mix these together with a flat spatula. And then we're going to pour it into this mold. And then we're going to lift the piece out and show you. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to pour A and B together into the mold. We're going to pre-mix them. And it's always best to pour it into a clean beaker to make sure you got everything out. Now, Protocast ADR is normally white, but we put black pigment in here to give you better cosmetics with uh, hiding behind the gold paint. Okay, that's all we need. Okay, now we're going to pour it into the mold and fill it up. Okay, we filled the mold. That's essentially it. So we're going to wait about five to ten minutes and we're going to lift the piece out and it'll look just like this. Now we want to show you some of the things that some of our clients have done with it. This is the part that we did with Hydraspan and then we executed it in Protocast ADR and we actually lifted the paint job out of the silicone mold using the Protocast ADR. You can see the fine fidelity that you get here. An excellent product. The good thing about it is it's extremely low viscosity, it has good fidelity, and it uh, doesn't need degassing. And you can see in some of these industrial parts, it copies everything from fine threads to some of the detail and some of these name tags here. But as we mentioned, we have some of our clients that have sent us some of the things, wonderful things they've done with this fantastic product. This is a uh, actual copy of an award-winning uh, deer antler rack. It was molded entirely out of Protocast ADR, and then it was stained with uh, some common furniture stains. But you can see here that it copied everything just faithfully, everything down to it. It's awesome, awesome product. Uh, also, a, a nice thing about the product is that it's uh, somewhat thermoplastic. In some cases, you could warm this up with a heat gun and actually position these tines to make it a more symmetrical rack, uh, giving it better numbers, better award wing. Believe it or not, some of these things here are actually uh, metal coated protocast ADR parts. And you can see here on the back side that it is the, the Protocast ADR. Excellent parts. This is an astounding part. This is a sable horn that was slush cast in a silicone mold, a uh, platinum cured silicone mold. And you can see it copied everything. This is a fairly lightweight part. And then it was stained back. And the Protocast ADR can be colored as well. This was colored black to give it better ability to be stained and highlighted to give it a more natural look to it. As you can see, these are some incredibly detailed, awesome parts. Well, here's the final result. We had our Protocast ADR sable skull that was slush cast in a silicone mold. It was brought out and then it was coated with a metallic coating that was created from simple fiberglass resin and metallic powder. In this case, we used nickel powder to impregnate the fiberglass resin. And it was simply brushed on with a, a paintbrush over the top of the Protocast ADR with no other special prep. And then the luster was brought out by using a metallic scrub pad 
and just water. And you can see the results are, are just phenomenal uh, in every way. And of course, remember, these are also slush cast and then stained. These were done with black protocast ADR, and the results are just amazing.